spinning round the big zodiac wheel. <laughs> hey, Tuvies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, I'm getting this out a little late, but better late than never. How you like my pendant today? Isn't that fun? That's my vintage zodiac. It's got all the signs of the zodiac, and it just spins through the window. Anyways, it's fun. I'm just having fun with my zodiac jewelry. Well, here we are at Zodiac Thursday. Psyche Bob's been in biz busy in readings all day, so I didn't forget you guys. Just been tied up. I want to say thank you for your patience. And thank you to all of you who have been reaching out to me for a reading. If you want to get on my schedule for a private reading, I do have openings starting on the weekend. So please, uh, please reach out to me. You can write to me at readings at robert-heckman.com or call my office at 571-483-2112. We'll get you on the schedule. You guys are the best here. Oops, I got a pop up. What is that? I don't know what that is. There's always stuff popping up on machines. <laughs> Anyways, well, we're going to do something kind of cool today. Um, we're going to talk about a celebrity zodiac chart. But before we get into that, I just want to give you a little bit of snapshot of what's going on today. Uh, here we are. It's uh, Thursday. And it is April the 6th. Now, our moon today is in Leo, and that's firepower, and our sun is in Leo. So we got another day of super high charged energy. It's a really great day just to keep rolling with the flow, okay? Now, the major thing that happened today is that the planet Saturn went direct. And Saturn is the planet I call it the wisdom keeper of the zodiac. So by it going direct, you're going to feel a little more insight, a little more understanding now going forward, okay? And our other major transit today is that our moon is sextile Jupiter, and Jupiter is the planet that deals with money. So today is a good day to focus on your financial growth, focus on issues connected to money. You're going to have good insight around that, okay? Uh, so definitely a day of high power, a day of energy. Um, so definitely keep focused on the, the material side of life. Be open to blessings. And you're going to have a good day. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad you're here. And Anyways, I wanted to talk today about a very important zodiac chart. You know, I love to study celebrities. And I thought today we would take a look at Donald Trump's zodiac chart. That's right now I'm not saying you have to be a fan of Donald Trump but he is in a position of importance and I think understanding where he comes from at least in a position of zodiac uh, in, insight would be very helpful for all of us to understand you know where he comes from and you know right now Donald Trump is in a very stressful position there are a lot of crazy world events happening and he's having to take on a lot and you know, I tell you, I have a lot of sympathy for him because I think he's in a very intense job. And I thought it'd be wonderful to take a look at his chart. And if any of you know Donald Trump, uh, you can pass this on to him. It might help him a little bit, okay? So anyways, I thought we'd take a look at his chart. I'm going to put up his chart up here for you. So here's the chart I put together. I ran this this morning. Here's Donald Trump's chart. So what we've got here is a very interesting situation because um, Trump was born on June 14th, 1946 in Queens, New York at 1054 a.m. That makes him uh, a Gemini. His son is in Gemini and that is his sign. Now, wonderful thing about sun and Gemini's, Gemini's tend to be very good partners. They're good at partnerships. And as you know, Donald Trump has built his empire based on partnerships, working with people. And it's interesting, he had a, a book out called The Art of the Deal. And that's a very Gemini sort of concept, you know, the art of the deal, interacting with people. Um, so it's not surprising to me that he wrote his book entitled that because that's very Gemini. Okay. Now, interestingly, his moon sign is in Sagittarius. And the moon sign is kind of our interior life, how we feel about things, kind of what we get motivated by. Um, and so he has a Sagittarius moon sign, which I think is really wonderful with this moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the hunter, the gatherer, the go-getter. 
The, the Sagittarius is also a teacher and a philosopher. So I think with Donald Trump, even though he has that ambitious side, there's part of him that really evaluates what he does and he pays attention to the lessons that he learns. And I think he's probably a very good mentor to his children and to other business people um, who he takes under his wing. So that Sagittarius moon is actually perfect for him, especially with what he's doing. Um, now, interestingly, his, he's got a number of um, planets in Cancer. He's got Mercury in Cancer, which is the planet of communications. What this means is that he actually has the ability and tends to speak from the heart. Now, sometimes he'll speak from emotion rather than logic, and that has gotten him into trouble, as we've seen. But it also indicates that he really feels things deeply and expresses from a place of honesty, and his true belief. So I like that. That's an honest trait. Um, speaking of cancer, he also has Saturn in cancer. And again, Saturn is the plan of wisdom. This means that he gets hunches. He feels it in his gut. It's a psychic sense that he has. He may not call it psychic, but he definitely works from a psychic place. And this is very good. And I would encourage the president to continue to speak from the heart and trust his inner voice because it won't lead him wrong. With Saturn in Cancer, he's got a tuned in vibe that is really going to work for him, you see. And so this is interesting because and he, also, he also has Venus in Cancer. And Venus is the romantic thing, the romantic plan, love, relationships. And having a Cancer sign means that he's a sentimentalist at heart and he feels romance. He's a little bit of a romantic. Now, you might not see that side of him on Wall Street or when he's in the White House, but he really has that within him. And he's somebody who gets in love with the concept of love. And so he has definitely a romantic energy uh, around him. Uh, one of the, the planets in his, that is very interesting is that he has the planet Uranus in the sign of Libra. And Uranus is the planet that brings sudden insight, inspiration. It can, in its negative aspect, bring craziness. And having that planet in Libra is a good sign because it means that he will tend to go avoid extremes and that when he starts to go to extremes, he comes back to balance quickly. So I think particularly as a world leader, uh, having Libra in Uranus means that we don't have to fear him throwing us into a war. I know a lot of people are writing me saying, Psyche Bob, oh my God, this man's in the White House. Listen, from an astrological point, he's got a pretty good chart here, okay? So Uranus in Libra, like for example, if he had Uranus in, you know, Leo or Aries or another fire planet, could be a little shaky, but that Libra energy will bring balance. So we don't have to fear so many extremes, okay? And interestingly, he has Neptune also in Libra. And Neptune is the planet for the psychic self, the occult, the mystery. And having that Libra means that he has the ability to look at things rationally. Uh, and spiritually, he has kind of a moderate stance on things. So he's not going to be a religious fanatic. Libras are friends to the whole world and they tend to give everybody equal say. So I don't believe from a Donald Trump White House we're going to start seeing religions outlawed or people put in jail for being a faith. Um, that Neptune energy in Libra is balanced actually. So I want you guys to understand that, okay? Now, what's also interesting is I was looking at his houses and the first house is called the Ascendant. And this is the energy of the vitality of your life. It's how you view the world, how you to relate to things. Strangely, and I was a little surprised by this, his ascendant is in the, uh, has the planet Neptune figuring in it. Neptune, again, is that psychic self, that undercurrent, that deep self. And so what it means is even though we see a lot of outer bravado from Donald Trump, underneath, he really feels things. And so when you see him stepping out, he's doing it from a deeper place. I think that's a very good thing to have, particularly as a president, because it means that when he acts, how he relates, he's going to do it from a deeper place, a psychic place. Okay, now what's really, it's not surprising to me, but it is absolutely fascinating is, he has in his second house the planet of Jupiter. The second house deals with 
finances. It deals with money. It deals with how we earn our money. And having Jupiter in the second house is like the best thing. This indicates that he's a person. And if I'd seen his chart as a child, I would say this man is going to have a lot of money in his life. And so we find Jupiter in the second house of a lot of successful and wealthy people. Donald Trump is no exception to that. He's got Jupiter in. So this means that he will continue always in a state of wealth and money. And I, I think this is just absolutely fascinating. Now, <clears throat> I like his other, some of his other houses that are interesting. In his sixth house, the sixth house deals with everyday life. Okay, how you relate just to the average Joe on the street, how you are just going about your daily life. Interestingly, in his sixth house, he, he straddles his sixth house between the sign of Aquarius and the sign of Pisces. And what that means is that he tends to view everybody as an equal. He's not necessarily an elitist. Yes, he's very wealthy and powerful. But in dealing with everyday people, he views everybody as kind of a member of the brotherhood, a member of the human family. So he had, does have a humanitarian uh, trait here, which is a very good thing. And so Aquarius and Pisces in the success also tends to mean that he will not necessarily be a dictator. Uh, he's going to treat people more as equals and um, doesn't mean he won't be the boss sometimes, but it's different than a cruel streak. This nature uh, of cruelty does not necessarily uh, show here. So there's no cruelty around him. Pisces, again, is a water sign. Again, we're going back to the deep emotions and he tends to you know, trust people again on gut instinct. So, you know, with Donald Trump, you can't snow him. You can't play a game because that Piscean energy in a sixth house means that he's on to it. He feels it and he's usually right with his hunches. Okay. Um, his eighth house is interesting. This deals with sexuality and financial investments. I don't know why they put those together in the eighth house, but they are interesting. Now, what's fascinating is his eighth house has Aries energy and Taurus energy. Tar Taurus and the eighth house is in the signs of Aries and Taurus. That's the way I want to say it. And what that means is Aries firepower, strong energy, a lot of sexual passion, a lot of romance. Taurus is a lover of luxury. And any of you who have seen Donald Trump's planes, hotels, casinos, houses, knows that he loves luxury. So his eighth house deals with his financial investments. Anything he touches, he turns to gold. He has power of Aries and Taurus. And Taurus is an earth sign and Aries is a fire. Excellent combination for the eighth house to be successful in love and in business. Uh, so this is very, very interesting. Okay. Now, you know, just a comment, not to, to knock on anybody, but it's interesting his marriage troubles because Aries people tend to, not all of them, occasionally Aries energy, when it's very strong in a chart, can make people burn through a relationship quickly. So Donald Trump may be somebody who gets all excited and passionate, and then he kind of loses his focus and energy to continue. So it's interesting he's had a few marriages that would be consistent with Aries energy in that house. Okay, so fascinating. And then he has his 10th house, which is the house of social success, how you do in the bigger world. He has his 10th house in the sign of Gemini. Gemini is partnership. What this means is, again, he is excellent at deal making. And I think as a president, what we'll see is he's really going to do a lot of diplomacy himself, do a lot of reaching out, trying to make uh, friends with everybody. And it's very interesting because right before he was president, he got a lot of flack for getting on the phone and calling world leaders before he was in office. People said that was a little forward stepping, but not if you understand a Gemini. Uh, as a Gemini, that's what you do. And having his 10th house also in Gemini, he's got double Gemini, he really wants to make deals. And so any world leaders who are interacting with Trump, 
They need to come from a place of truth, honesty, sincerity. You can't play a game with him, and he will deal fairly with you. So, you know, as I have predicted in the past, and, and interesting, I'm going to predict again because the Zodiac shows it as well. I do see him stepping into a better position in his role as president. I feel that if people get out of the way and let him kind of work his deals, build his friendships and alliances, he will actually do well in the office of president. So there you go, guys. There's a little psychic snapshot at Donald Trump. I hope that gives you guys a little insight, a little fun help today to kind of understand what's going on there. I am so enjoying being with you. Listen, tell me in the box below, um, what is your zodiac sign? I'd love to hear it. And do you feel connected to your sign? Tell me below. Well, guys, listen, Psyche Bob has more readings to go to. I'm still working, 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 and I love it. But I want to let you know, thank you for being here. I want to say thank you to all you've been subscribing. By the way, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. And uh, I hope that you'll like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends. And let's talk about zodiac signs and what they mean. So share your thoughts below. Look forward to hearing from you. Uh, I'll be back here tomorrow on Friday. We got UFO Friday. May get out a little late. Psyche Bob is a very heavy reading schedule, but I'll try to get something out for you. Maybe a little later, so bear with me. I love you guys. Keep the calls coming. We'll get you on the schedule for the coming days. Blessings to all of you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, may you always blessed be.